Hello Gunpla fans, this is Joe of Joe's Gunpla with another video. Um, in my last video I showed off that I had uh, the Justice Real Grade uh, mobile suit itself completed and the backpack halfway done. Uh, the backpack is done. In fact, all construction is done. Uh, I basically... I don't know what it is about Real Grade kits. But, uh, this is only the third one that I've built. The first two were the, uh, Sharzaku 2 and, uh, the original Gundam. But, something about real grades, um, wears me out really quickly. Um, in fact, I think, uh, it, it, it's become basically a pattern. I will uh, complete the build and then I'll set it off to the side and let it sit in the box for a little bit uh, before I go put stickers on and do panel lining and all that stuff. Um, I don't know if it's just the, the tedium of the small parts or maybe if it's um, <laughs> sticker intimidation. Because, well, I mean, anyone who's built real grade knows about the massive quantity of stickers. Uh, this one has 121, looks like. Um, and I won't even be using all of these. Uh, some of them I've already painted instead. Uh, I don't use the eye stickers. Uh, these gold ones here. And here, uh, they go on the elbow joint, which I've already painted. And right here, I've already painted those as well. And that was done with a base coat of chrome silver uh, testers, uh, their, their model master's paint enamel. Uh, and then I went over it with um, a mixture of... Tamiya Clear Yellow, a very, very small touch of Tamiya Clear Orange, and uh, quite a bit of just plain Tamiya Clear Acrylic, uh, thinned down with 91% uh, alcohol, and um, yeah, painted over it that way. And it matches the sticker almost perfectly, which is what I was going for doesn't have the mirror finish because it didn't have that good of a chrome paint. Uh, one of these days I'll get some Alclad 2 chrome paint and an airbrush set up and then I'll be able to do that uh, completely. Uh, I was going to do the these here which go on the back of the kneecap uh, around the knee joint but there's no definitive line as to where this gold is supposed to end uh, so I think we're going to go ahead and use these. I'm, I'm hesitant to do so because of the moving parts in that area. Let me take off the, uh, backpack. Let's see, there's no definitive line to where that stops. And it doesn't go from the very top to the very bottom. It doesn't go, you know, from here down to here. It stops partway up here and partway down here, and yeah. So I'll be uh, putting those stickers on eventually. Probably next week. I don't know. I we'll see if I have time next week. Uh, but I'm definitely gonna put him away for a while. Um, oops. Oh, that's fine. Shield fell off. Anyway, uh, so yeah, he's got the big giant backpack, the shield, the beam rifle. Also has a couple of fun parts. This here is a bracket. Plugs into the base of the backpack here. And that's for when you want to set it upright in mobile suit mode so it doesn't droop down. It also has this fun 
stick. <laughs> uh, sticks on. Let me see if I can get some light in there, like right there, so that it'll stand up in mobile suit mode. It won't droop down any further. Also eliminates the back heaviness. We can actually stand up. Two clear pink beams for the beam savers, the normal ones on the hips. Uh, these beam dagger blades, two of these. And those are for the beam dagger tomahawk, whatever they are, things on the shoulders. Uh, let's see here. Lots of hands. Two closed fists with an opening, but they can't hold anything. So I don't know why that's there. Uh, for the right hand, an open, uh, very suggestive grabbing a breast hand, I guess. I don't know. And then, of course, the movable hands that real grades come with. The thumb joint there and a ball joint down at the base and then the trigger finger bends at the center and then at the base has another ball joint and this grouping of fingers has a ball joint down at the bottom here and they bend in the middle so just amazes me the engineering that they've come up with here on the wrist ball joint swivels back and forth. Very cool. Awesome hands. Um, also comes with a gun holding hand right there. <laughs> Excuse me. So yeah, that's um, that's the real grade Justice Gundam. Looks really cool. But so many stickers to put on, and I just don't feel like doing that right now. So, I'll be moving on to my next project soon. Oh, uh, also a very, very, <coughs> very tiny Atherzala. Actually, I think he's backwards. I can barely tell. There we go. There he is. He looks rather girly. At this, I don't know if it's just like the slight molding or something, but something in the hips just looks girly. But, uh, anyway, that's him. Uh, let me put this stuff away because I want to show you guys my next project. La la la. Make sure I get everything here. Hands, brackets, bathroom, stand, blades, shield, backpack. Oop, one more hand. Alright, so that's that. Let me reach around here and grab what I've got. These guys came in recently. Wow. Close. Okay, sorry. And these are the Dragon Momoko Age 1 High Grade Kits. I um, believe Prime 92 has already reviewed all three of these guys. So check out her channel. But I've got <coughs> the Age 1 Razor. And this guy comes with uh, the molded parts in color for all the razors and junk. So it's not the, uh, what was it? Hobby Japan or Dengeki? I think it was Hobby Japan did the razor parts. Dengeki did the Artemis. But, uh, yeah. So, all the high grade parts for him. And, come on, lighting. There we go.
clear green blades, and the blades actually pop out of the knees. So that's cool. He's actually I'm going to build him probably first because I have the normal, like the the Bandai uh, high grade age one kit, and then I have razor parts for it, and I've actually got two sets of those. So I'm going to build this guy, one set of the Bandai official uh, conversion kit, and then I'm going to build another of the official Bandai conversion kit, but I'm going to do a custom paint scheme on it. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. And then, Age 1 Spallow, uh, with the added knife blades, let's see, this is from the Master Grade uh, Blue Frame, this is from the uh, Astria, I think, but they've given it a clear green blade. Um, I don't know what these added parts are on the heels, but they look like little axes or something, that's cool. Um, it's also got one of the claw weapons from the Zizulu. And I don't remember what this is from. I think it's from the from the Strike Noir or something like that. I'm not sure, but that's cool. And I'll be building him up fairly soon. And then the Age One Titus. I really like the uninterrupted box art with these knockoffs. And the only thing special about him is he's got spikes added to the ankle armors, um, the knee on his hands, you can see here, and then a couple spikes on the shoulders. It makes him look more like a Zaku, I think. Kind of like the, the Super Zaku 2000, or F2000, or whatever it was from. Gunpla Builders. So yeah. That's pretty cool. And the... What do they call them? Lariats? Lariats? Yeah. These here. Has the more... Uh, they're not just plain round. They've got the textured beam effect. So that's cool too. And... I think that's it. Nothing else new. Um, got a lot in the on back order at um, Hobby Link Japan. Uh, this run, this video is running kind of long, but I don't care. I'm gonna babble for a minute. Uh, years and years ago, this wasn't that long ago. Maybe like six seven years um... there was this well it's still there it's called Hidden Cove it's like a family fun park place up in uh, Kankakee County, Illinois it's actually in Bradley or Bravonis those two towns like they mingle together and it's hard to tell where the borders are so um... people will say it's in Bradley but the address is actually in Bravonis and so forth it's confusing um... But anyway, uh, you know they have kind of like a like a Chuck E. Cheese or or um, you know an arcade where you win tickets and such. And they had randomly these they just call them little robots. Um, they were like fifteen tickets a piece or something like that. Uh, and I had just went for fun and had a bunch of tickets and looking through their stuff. Um, Normally what I do when I go to an arcade is, I love skee-ball, it's just, it's fun. I don't really play to win tickets or anything, I just play because it's, it's something to do. And usually I'll walk up to some random toddler, you know, a little five-year-old, and, uh, you know, that's with their parents. And I'll be like, hey, you want a bunch of tickets? And just give them tickets. And it's really fun because they get all excited and they're like, yeah, I got tickets for free. And I don't know, I like to make kids happy. And usually the parents thank me and, and whatnot. But, uh, no, this day I wanted to look and see what I could get with my tickets, and I looked and saw these little robots, and sure enough, 
their mobile suits from the original Gundam series. Um, I've already painted these two. This one was purple. Uh, clearly a Zaku. Uh, this one I think was pink originally. So we did this one as Shars Zaku. And then I've got a couple of Doms. And I've got a Goof. And I've got a Gion. Focus. Thank you. And I have a Galgoog. And at the time, one of my friends was a manager at this arcade place, and he had actually posted a picture of his collection. He had a he had a Gundam and a Jim. And when I went there, I didn't see any of the Federation mobile suits, but that was fine because I'm a pretty big Xeon fan. So I'm gonna paint these up at some point, just because I think they're neat. But uh, have you guys ever found anything like this, just randomly, maybe even like a gumball machine or something? Unexpected places to find Gundam. It's awesome. Anyway, until next time, happy building.